How does, how does land inform my practice if I'm performing in Los Angeles, for example? And I was thinking about um, the word nunach which means, um, it means different things, but one of them is uh, this earth, this village, and this home. So we kind of start on this really large scale of the earth, and then it comes to that community, and then it comes to that, that home. Um, and this is really pertinent for my work because um, my work is, is the body as the site, the body as the location of the work because it is performance. And when I'm thinking about the body, I'm considering how my body has been transformed by pregnancy, by labor, by birth, by breastfeeding, and the very physical acts of mothering. <coughs> Endlessly labeled and marked by stereotypes and expectations, and, um, and so a constant negotiation to gain resources and claim spaces um, informs my work. And that's where I am. Um, I co-founded, for example, the Latin American Canadian Art Project, the Salvadorian Arts Festival. We're working on a Latin American Heritage Month in Toronto. And <clears throat> local community um, projects, such as the Victor Caiba Lake Project, where we're claiming um, territorial space uh, within, within the community where we live. I I'm saying all of this because uh, for me, it's important that uh, there is a validation and a, and a representation of a visible bi minority within um, uh, the mainstream um, Canadian art circles. What I am particularly interested in having for, for many years um, is uh, are with those people who are, who are many, 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 of course, who haven't necessarily uh, grown up and are familiar themselves with, say, their own quote unquote traditional um, traditions. And I say that they, perhaps their minds, I think it's, it's it, there's some sort of huge sort of conceptual. Uh, hill or mountain to cross over that people think that somehow they don't, that they're not worth much then, or that somehow they don't know their traditions. And for me what's really interesting is, is, is finding the knowledge that is almost inherently ancestrally contained within our bodies, you know, it's, it's in the DNA, whether, you're, whether you've, you've grown up with these traditions or not, um, we really have regardless of our, of our location. Um. Yeah, this whole thing about sacred, sacred clown, uh, the first time I learned about it was probably about, I don't know, about three years ago, and I, when I heard about um, the Hopis, and I started making connections back to um, my culture, which is Simshian, and I grew up with the Simshian people, and the Gixan people up in Prince Rupert, and, um, that just made me think that uh, I mean, we have backwards people there. And we don't really call them backwards. I don't think they would appreciate it. But, um, but there are those in our community that do and say very uncouth things. And we can appreciate them for that. You know, um, Being from a coastal town, we don't throw people out with the, the bath water very often. <laughs> kind of live amongst them and, and love them. Um, I find that in, in coming from that space, I feel like I can uh, be present and be um, accepting, and I feel like that that I know that that informs how I am.